This video is to demonstrate how to configure a compliance scan using the SCAP file provided by NIST. After logging into Security Center, the first step is to upload the audit file. Steps are go to Scans, Audit Files, click Add an Audit File, and click Advanced. Leave the name blank for now. Click on Choose a File and browse your local file system. Choose the audit file you downloaded from NIST. The name I use as the audit file name, I'll copy and paste that up there. Next I select whatever the profile is. In this case I'll do Mac One Public. So, so I will prefix the audit file with Mac One Public. And I'll click Submit. The next step we will configure the scan policy. Click on policies then select SCAP and OVAL. Give the policy a name. It will be Windows 10 Mac 1 Public. The remainder of the settings on the setup tab will remain defaulted. The report settings will also remain defaulted. On the authentication tab, note these authentication settings are application authentication. For example, a web server or external patch management system like SCCM. The authentication for the operating system is configured in a different location. Leave these settings to their default also. On the compliance tab, select the audit file that we just uploaded and select the check and then select submit. Now we will configure the active scan. Go to active scans, click add an active scan. The name will do the same as before, Windows 10 Mac 1 Public. We'll select the policy we just created the settings will make sure the repository and scan zone are set. For targets, we'll choose IP DNS name. For credentials, I preloaded a Windows credential. I'll add that credential to the scan. And the post scan settings will remain default. We'll hit submit and launch the scan, clicking the play button. You can view the scan progress and scan results. Now the scan is finished, let's review the results. Click on the scan and let's change the tool to the severity summary. You will see five severity levels. For compliance scan analysis, high is for failed security checks. Medium is for checks that require a manual verification and info severity is for checks that have passed. Let's choose high and then click on jump to vulnerability data list. The page now shows you details about the failed check. If you look in the right hand side you will see a section called reference information. This section provides several key search strings you can use for your analysis. However, in the page, the GUI shows name colon space value, but for the search you need to use name pipe value. Let's give this search a try. We'll use severity med medium. Select filters, add vulnerability text. In that field, we're going to paste in the value and we'll remove the space and the colon and replace it with a pipe. Press OK. 
then apply all monitoring the number currently we have 121 now we have 105 let's see how to add this filter to a dashboard now let's go to dashboards go to dashboard options add a dashboard select advanced call the dashboard SCAP dashboard select submit now switch to the SCAP dashboard and choose options again and choose add component for the table for the name call it severity medium and filters we choose vulnerability text severity medium click OK and submit refresh the page maybe twice and you see all of the severity medium checks we have now as you can see severity medium SCAP doesn't determine if it's passed or failed it's the severity level of the check itself so let's look for checks that are severity medium and have failed meaning the security center severity will be high click the checkbox and submit at the again as the component refreshes you will now see all of the medium severity checks that have failed next I'd like to show you if you need to export the data using the oval format we can go to scan scan results then click on the gear in the corner and choose download SCAP XML when you download this file you will get a download that will show up and if you go into your downloads folder there are your oval files